first of all, I think it, it was very strong. We have very, very little problem with it. And the road holding, like all the Saabs, was far ahead of other cars. Uh, there was a small engine and a heavy body, so it shouldn't really have gone so well. But the road holding and good brakes it, it kept it going. It doesn't matter what condition of the road was. It was snow or gravel or tarmac. It was, it was a really fantastic car, especially if there was a downhill section. You know, if you had a Porsche or anything, you beat them. If you were stupid enough to keep your foot on, nobody could follow you. I think everybody say in the old days were better, but I believe the 60s must have been the best time for rallying. Uh, it was not so expensive as today, as I said, service was very little known, and, and tyres, I, th I think certainly the first year we won RSE in 1960, we used the same tyres all the way. And as you know now today, they can't barely do one special stage and they have to change tyres all around. And they were the most competitive, you know, were private. And even if they were private, they had the chance to win. Today, you know, there's absolutely impossible if a private driver could, could have a chance to win. Right? And um, the cars we used, I suppose most of the private drivers they used the car all week, and then if there were anything left on Sunday, they used it next weekend again. And uh, that, I think, was the idea of running, and not all these special cars we made today. The two-stroke Saab took Eric to three consecutive wins on the RAC Rally, and two consecutive wins on the Monte Carlo. His technique in the underpowered car, a joy to watch, as he used the snowbanks instead of brakes. The World Cup Rally has taken cars right across Europe, driving competitive sections in France and Spain, and is now crossing to Africa. The route goes right through the Atlas Mountains, stopping at Fez, Marrakesh and Agadir. From here we venture out into the fringes of the Sahara Desert with a section from the famous Dakar Rally out in the sun dunes before returning to a sting in the tail. Classic sections from the Rally of Portugal and the mountains of northern Spain before a ferry cruise back to England from Milton. The Holden Classic Africa Cup for classic cars is being led by a country mile by the 1969 Saab 96 of Larry Davis and Dave Wright. This car actually competed in the original 1970 World Cup Rally. The classics are not eligible for overall classification, but the Saab's times would be good enough for fourth overall. In real trouble, the Classic Cup leading Saab. Coming into 90 left a bit too, too quick and couldn't break down in time. I saw a road off going basically straight ahead over a bit of a bump, so I thought I'll go for that as a slip road and went for it and there was a <clears throat> large gully in the way and we popped into one side of that and out the other side and on its roof and on its wheels again. After a couple of hours the rain had eased and the big stuff tried the crossing first. If they can do it, so can we. Rally boys try it. James Smith gets it all wrong. Morning. The battered Saab comes home the winner of the Holden Classic Africa Cup. Well done, Larry Davis and Dave Wright. Don't worry about the panel work. Team mechanic Dave Pierce has 10 more of these cars back in Texas. And spare a thought for the winners of the Against All Odds Prize. Bender Grosvenor and Grace Vane Percy in the most unlikely rally car ever. Perhaps that's why Mercedes don't want to know about their success. No one would believe it. Up in the hills of North Luxembourg now, and the screaming Saab, crewed by Rob Harvey Clark and Graham Greenwell, is 42nd overall. Followed by Larry Rumble in the Ringading Saab. While the Rumble's two-stroke Saab reaches the Granier summit sounding just like Eric Carlson in the 60s. The next village. Classic. 
clocks can never be put back. And finally, when the finish control point is reached, the clock speaks. Its truth is absolute, its truth is time, time is absolute, and you know the truth. You know whether you've won or lost your battle with time. And then, it all starts again.